What is up, guys, and welcome back to Courtside Convos. Today, conversation is another injury report and waiver wire pickup. You might be saying, Chad, well, this is a different scenery. Um, I am currently in a hotel room doing a, um, just going on a little, not vacation, kind of work vacation, kind of work vacation, um, but the videos don't stop here. The grind does not stop here. Um, so we're going to be talking about the injury report and waiver wire for week 22, um, very interesting. I think it's going to be kind of some updates. Um, not really some crazy, crazy news in the sense that breaking, breaking news. Um, there is some interesting news. We're not also going to go with the people that are question more day to day because those are people that chances are will come back during the week. Um, we'll have to see when, but chances are it'll be the first upcoming game. So for the head, let's start with the Chicago Bulls, Chicago Bulls. Um, adding on to their list, I feel like I have a Chicago Bulls update. There's another team that I'll be talking about that I feel like we'll have another update. Three games upcoming against Portland, Houston, Boston. Interesting games. Zach Levine, again, out for the remainder season. Same with Patrick Williams. Alex Caruso has been questionable recently, and Kobe White is doubtful for the game on Monday. So, with this in mind, with how things have played out, Kobe White, most improved player candidate by far. I would not be shocked if he is the most improved player. Alex Caruso being out is kind of interesting because when you look at their guard position, for me, Io DeSumo is the guy you have to pick up right now because I think with how Io's been playing, um, how they're also giving him more minutes even when it's like down the stretch, when it's during, you know, horrible times where trash minutes, um, I think a garbage time minutes even you could call it um that's a player in fantasy you want somebody that they're gonna put all their minutes into somebody that's gonna score the ball he scored like 33 the other night um if he is available please pick him up in your leagues in my leagues he's not um we'll have to see what happens um with the Chicago Bulls um I'm also gonna go a little fast in this video so it's more of a shorter video but we'll have to see uh what happens with Kobe White during the week because right now he's guaranteed to miss one of three of the games up next we have the Cleveland Cavaliers four games this week um and we've been talking about how Max Schuster and Don Mitchell could come back and looking like they could come back on uh potentially this Sunday or was that last week I think that was a couple weeks ago didn't happen I'll tell you that right now um, so Donovan Mitchell not coming back, um, this full week, um, not good. Max Drews as well does not come back, not good. Um, even though the Cavaliers feel like they have been always a bucket team, they have some injuries. Evan Mobley's out for a while, um, supposed to be back actually this week, so we'll see, um, if that's actually true, probably doubtful, I guess. And Dean Wayne also injured is not as well too, because um, when he, those players are gone, he's kind of been the one going off. So right now, of course, Garland's taking the reins a little bit. Um, Jared Allen's been doing great, um, but other than that, you're probably looking at you know, Karis LeVert, Isaac Okoro. Um, there's somebody else I was thinking of that's been doing pretty good. But those are players I think are deserving of minutes and doing very, very well. And you're going to probably want to pick them up because they are players that are going to get the fancy value out of the other people that are already injured. And the Cavaliers, looks like they're going to slow play this injury. Kind of already a guaranteed playoff team. I would not be shocked if they kind of slow this team down a little bit. There is a difficult schedule though coming up. Up next, we have the Houston Rockets. And for them, it's just some updates about their players, especially Alperin Sangoon, uh, especially three games this week. Um, Alperin Sangoon is officially kind of out for the remainder of the season. I say kind of because they say likely, um, which in my terms is out for the season because they're also thinking that he's not going to come back in time for playoffs or playing. Cam Whitmore, two to three weeks for him too. Could have been a really great pickup, honestly. Tari Eason kind of been ruled out for a while, but I kind of want to throw him in here. He's been ruled out for the season, which the first video I ever made on this channel was a players to pick up. Tari Eason was one of them, and they only said it was one week and he'll play. Does not play for the rest of the season, which is crazy. It's like Mark Williams. Mark Williams um with somebody that has been like day to day or kind of there kind of not out for long 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 time and has not played and it's likely he'll be out for the remainder of the season like isn't that crazy that he was like day to day back in november september october around there no i said september around november and just has been day to day since never played crazy 
Um, for the Rockets, I would look at Amen Thompson as your probably biggest option to pick. They've been giving him lots of minutes. Same with Fred. Um, Amen Thompson has also been balling these past two weeks. Has been playing some efficient games with great stocks, which if you're looking at nine cat weeks, I would pick up immediately. Um, then you're also probably looking at, um, I would say, Jock Landale. And you might disagree with me on this, but... They've been trying to run Jabari Smith at center, and I feel like there's a chance that does not work. And they have to throw Jock Landell in the center position. Played decent his first game, did okay his second and third game. We're going to have to see with him because I think Jock Landell is somebody that could just put up some kind of good games once a week, uh, but could also be someone that is just not worth having him rostered. Um, deeper leagues, I would look at him, but we'll just have to see for him. Up next, we have the Memphis Grizzlies. This will be the last update. 10 players out. Um, if you want a list of the players out, I'm actually going to look it up for you. Um, and it's just shocking to see. Like, it sucks to see a team this injured. I feel like we always have one team that is fully injured that is down tremendous when it comes to certain injuries. Right now, for at least or a Monday's game... Luke Kennard, Scotty Pippen, Brandon Clark, Lamar Stevens, Vince Williams, uh, Yuta Wananabe, um, Derek Rose, Zaire Williams, Marcus Smart, John Morant. All out already for the Kings game. Um, but then when you look at the players back, Desmond Bain, officially back. Played a game against OKC, actually did very well um, for limited minutes supposedly, but then played 32. Perfect game for Desmond Bain in my opinion. Great game to see him come back to. Uh, very interesting to see what his role is on, in the future. Um, but with Bain back, that's going to be very good. It's probably going to hurt Luke Kennard's, Luke Kennard, some of the guard positions, maybe a slightly wing. Um, I would not be shocked if Santiago Dama, you know, Jaron Jackson Jr., Vince Williams Jr. still plays good when they come back. Um, but we'll have to see. Um, but it does suck seeing the Memphis Grizzlies having a list of 10 people out when you have a 15-man roster. So... We'll have to see what happens. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. More content of me on Lesser Athletes. Really, some NFL content also on there. Check out the podcast, Fantasy Fundamentals. Um, podcast was supposed to come out Sunday. Not going to be able to, to come out till probably Tuesday. Um, we'll have to see about that. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.